Hi guys and welcome back to another time lapse video. So this time we are building a medieval cog. Now a cog was a ship that was commonly used in the medieval period uh, and could be used for everything from cargo and also as warships. Now the main thing with these is that they're quite kind of chunky ships, uh, quite wide, they'd have quite a bit of cargo um, underneath um, in the main hold. Uh, but also the biggest kind of feature that I find with these two or these ones is that they've got two different parts of it. They've got this kind of like back castle, rear castle, and they've also got a fore castle as well. Um, so I wanted to really kind of play around with that and make sure these are quite big on this one because it is a slightly bigger ship. This is the biggest cog that I've made so far. I also went with warped and crimson this time to give it a really nice color effect and I actually really like this and I'll probably use this again in the future. Now with this ship it has one really really large mast and that is a square rigged uh, mast. It's quite a simple kind of uh, sail plan. Um, I want to play around with some other details as well with this one. In this case I did alternating fence gates that have been punched in uh, and that's actually added some really nice colour on the sides because uh, I could see those these nice patterns on the side of cogs and I thought oh, we've got to get that in there. Um, now for the sail of course, nice big square sail using the technique that I usually use on my ships to uh, kind of start simple, get that pattern down and then actually start to push it out but as well I wanted to also do a nice striped effect on this and that actually finished it off really nicely I found uh, using that cyan wool and also white wool as the alternatives. So here is the actual ship of course, all nice and finished, it looks much better on the water uh, but like I say guys I really like this one, I love the different colours so it's you know always play with your builds and see if you can come up with something slightly different, something new and that you're happy with um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video there will of course be a tutorial coming up for the, with this one in the near future uh, and also guys if you want the schematic you can get that from my online store as well but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one